I am Reverend Sharon Renee. I'm Senior Minister here at the Unity of Dayton in Dayton, Ohio. And welcome to this week's episode of Mindful Living, where we nurture your body, your mind, and your spirit. And I wanted to say to all of you, happy Wednesday. I know for a lot of you, you consider this the hump day, the day that's like, okay, we're almost through the week and we get to, get to Friday, we're halfway there. And for me, it's a Monday and I get to start my week. So yay, it's a lot of wonderful things, but it's a beautiful day and remember that. And our affirmation for this week is, my inner dialogue shapes my outer world and I choose positivity. My inner dialogue shapes my outer world and I choose positivity. <sighs> which leads us to Sunday service topic, which is talking to yourself. And this is about our positive inner dialogue. So we have all these voices in our head. Like I would say it has at least three, right? We have the divine voice, the God voice, we have our mind voice telling us stuff. And then we have what the rest of the world is telling us based on how we're looking at it and how we process it. So there's, there's a couple of different things that are going on. And we have a tendency to hang on to that negativity. We have a tendency to believe in those illusions, those untruths. But the God voice within is always holding steady. Now, it's not jumping up and down and screaming, saying, pay attention to me, pay attention to me but it is very steady and it is always telling you that you are worthy, that you are deserving, that you can create, that you can become, and it moves you in that energy. However, we get caught up in that comparison of, should I be true to that? Or do I need to make that pros and cons list? Which one is the better one to listen to? Which one do you think is the better one to listen to? And do you really think you need to make a pros and cons list? Because when we're making that pros and cons list, we are saying we don't trust that inner voice. We're not trusting all of the good that is there. And we, when we talk to ourselves and we say these negative things, so it could be you're putting your jeans on in the morning and you have to lay down to zip them up, tucking in, you're going, I'm so fat right? Or I need to lose weight. Those are things that when we're saying that, those aren't truths. And what I tell, I, I tell people is that when we're saying that, we're saying God's fat. When we say those negative things where I'm stupid, what was I thinking? Um, I can't do anything right. Those are put downs and those keep us stuck and they keep us in an unhealthy place because obviously we're in an unhealthy mind state. So when we go around saying, I'm sick, I'm sick. I hate my life. Um, I'm unworthy, I'm stupid, I'm dumb. We are lowering that energy. And I don't even like saying those things <laughs> to make a point. But here's the thing, I want, you to, I want you to say something right now like, I don't deserve good. All right, I know you're going, oh, that's not a unity thing. But when you say it, you can feel that energy go, and it pulls you down. Now say, I deserve the best. And then you might go, oh, yeah, right. Because you've been taught that you don't deserve anything or that you're unworthy. But here's the thing is saying, I am loved and supported by God and I am worthy of the best. I am loved and supported by God and I am worthy of the best. I am wonderful. I am awesome. I'm magnificent. I am healthy. I am prosperous, I am joyful, I'm happy, I'm beautiful. These are the things that we need to start to acknowledge about ourselves. These are where we need to go into this wonderful, positive self-talk. And that's what I want you to do is I want you to join us on Sunday where we talk about talking to yourself, discovering and opening up to our positive inner dialogue and what are we listening to and what are we owning because if we're owning the worst in ourselves we're not going to appreciate who we really are and we're not going to have faith in the Christ light and the Christ within we're not going to have faith in the divinity but here's the thing is what we say creates our reality we believe that in unity and so God's working 
what I'll say in our favor, not in the necessarily how it should happen if we're in alignment with our better self, with our higher self, but God's still going to give us what we're asking for. So that's a wonderful creator. And it is also shows how wonderful we are at the ability to create in our lives. So if we can create misery, we can create joy. So join us on Sunday here at the Unity of Dayton at 11 a.m. Or feel free to join us on Facebook Live if you live out of the area. We look forward to seeing you. And don't forget to go to our website and click the donate button. And it's unity unityofdayton.org and click the donate button so you can continue to support us and all the good that we do and all the good that we share. And as we generously give, wonderful gifts come back. All right, have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here and namaste.